We planned Strong Women Sunday long before the marches this weekend. There are lots of ways that we can show why we're strong women. And for some women this weekend, that meant going out and marching um, and being heard on the streets. And that made me proud because we live in a democracy, right? It doesn't matter whether you're a Republican, a Libertarian, a Democrat, um, none of that matters because we live in a country where our voices are heard. Like a lot of women, we face a unique set of challenges. I'm sure that many of us got a job to find and found out only later that we either asked for less than our male counterparts to get that job or that we were offered less when we got that job than our male counterparts. Crime may be down in our city, we know that, but sexual harassment is up. Our schools are failing our children. And if our kids are failing, then our girls are failing. And we know that the quickest way out of the cycle of violence and poverty Right? and broken homes and single motherhood is good education and then a good paying job. One of the reasons why I feel so strongly about money is I see myself as a progressive conservative. Progress is for all people, by all people. And that includes conservatives too. My dear friend Joe often reminds me that it's progressives on both sides of the aisle that are responsible for our greatest legislative achievements. The Republican women, known as the suffragettes, were the ones that secured our right to vote. But it was Rosa Parks who sat on the front of the bus and said all women of all colors will vote. And those, that's, that's progressivism right there. I really believe in the bottom of my heart that if we work to empower girls, we can break any glass ceiling. I'm very honored to be here to support MJ as I I, know. I think right now a lot of people, and women in particular, are feeling disempowered politically. We need some young blood in this city to really move things in a way that's going to change the future for the next generation. And we have um, a very compassionate, brilliant leader who can be a pioneer for us locally in MJ. And if there's anyone that has a, a true heart and a pure intention, it's you. This is really a selfless act. She wants to make the community better. MJ literally practices what she preaches. The way she engages and empowers people to participate in endeavors which help others is a testament to her leadership and values. New York City needs MJ, a true bleeding heart conservative, to bring out its best. I don't care where you stand or what you say or what you believe or where you march or where you don't. What matters to me is that we can, when we're working together, have a much brighter and more fantastic future for America.